and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we uh, sold the first case and well now our boss is dead so we're gonna have to resolve that. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh. That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia. Maybe she's in her office. That smell. Blood. Sis. Someone's there. Chief? Chief! Chief! <laughs> this is a sad moment, but I love the sort of Metal Gear style thing. Who are you? The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Chief. Time to look around and pick up things. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. And they seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. It's encrusted with dried blood. And how ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Chief. It's a hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand broken in the back of the room. Lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards added to the court record. Nothing else it seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Receipt added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police. And find out what that girl was doing here. Right, I'd better call the police. 
That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick. What? What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. That girl coast now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yikes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye. Maya. So, Mir was writing this girl's name. Could I show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside of the courtroom. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. The, the, that's my name. Well, why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Well, why would sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. The police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe, what an odd name. Says the guy named Phoenix. We received a report from the building across the, sh across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder? It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I didn't, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. My own wait, she wouldn't have, nah. Whoa, excuse me. Eek. This word, Maya, you hear, mean anything to you? Um, that, that's my name. What? Ah, uh, gumship. The victim drew this uh, here note in her own blood. I think you should be using the word wrote, but okay. See? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. The killer, I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? What? Ah, young chip. Mia's younger sister Maya was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for hours to begin... Uh, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th. 
a.m. Detention Center or Visitor's Room. Well, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. Good. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um... Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. I will. Cheer up. But, really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what... What's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No. No! I never thought... It... It's okay, I understand. And I've also uh, heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How did that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. It didn't help that he claimed I was the defendant and then the murder victim. Both really close together. What is wrong with that, with that attorney? Huh. So we crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. There's... something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with the uh, what's with that outfit? Oh, this. This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training. What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. A, a spirit medium. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. <laughs> Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister, who wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence. Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. 
the one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Uh, her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation was on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. So, you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered. That detective took my phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. Right, she arrived at nine, found me a dead. Okay. So you're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fay family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fay family. So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class, too. I... I had no idea. Hmm. Wait... What? So you're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium, with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Ah, ESP in training. I couldn't resist. Well, can you contact me as spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um... I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I could call him. And, well... I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. I'm right here. Say, what about your parents? I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you, the trial's tomorrow at 10. What? What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find an attorney, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until... Four o'clock this afternoon. And the visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Okay, thank you all offices first. September 6th.
painkiller offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you're there. This is a crime scene, pal. No, no trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no. Phoenix Wright, how could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, uh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were Detective... Suede Shoes. Um, Suede Shoes, wasn't it? That's me. Don't step on my blue suede shoes. Wait, that's a song, pal. <laughs> my name is Dick Gumshoe. Well, wait. That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. But you are one. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yep. Yes, sir. But be right there. Um, ahem. You're uh, her lawyer, right, pal? If you got if you got business here, you better do it quick. Phew, he thinks I'm my lawyer. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now don't look at me. Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Autopsy report. Added to the court record. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal. But this is the one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, do you know him? Don't you? You do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets a guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him sound barely human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for certain is Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. 
That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. I can... even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Oh right, I need to perform this. I was wondering, did you see Maya's cell phone? Oh, that, I have it. I have uh, Oh, that, I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Well, I'll tell the truth, I guess. I've nothing to gain by lying. If I tell him why I want uh, why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something matter? Oh no, it's just you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all all little girl's secrets. The uh, all the little her sweetest and spiciest secrets. Er, yep. You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers on memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. It seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Maya's cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Check the court record to, to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um... Yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness. With your lawyer- with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about it. The witness. Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me your name. Miss May, huh? So, you've sent her home already, then. <laughs> you're trying to- you're trying your literally tricks on me now. If she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. September 6th. Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. And on that note, we're going to cut it here, and we'll get back to this next episode.